Wow, that was beautiful. But for a song called Silent Night, that sure got loud. I know. I feel it's supposed to be written for a service in Germany for so long a time, a voice act. Glocking spills, recorders, hand chimes. Hmm, it's not right, I tell you. Hopefully the next song will be better. More reverent, definitely quieter. So, what's going on now? Looks like some officials about to get. Officials? I've lost my best cook. He's had to go 
go to Jerusalem. My housekeeper has had to go to Nazareth. My poor old Josiah will have to shut down completely. This has been a total stress. Do not believe how many staff I have lost because they've had to go back to where they were born. Yes, it is inconvenient, but think of it. What a business opportunity this is. How so? People have to stay somewhere and we have the accommodation. Too true. All thanks to its mightiness. Think of all the money we could have made. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should take a census every year or even every month. <laughs> <laughs> to dream of a full hotel, rooms absolutely full, chopper blocks stuffed to the ceiling. Too true, as we have this almighty Caesar, Augustus, to thank for it all. If we get any more people coming, we may have to put them in our stables. <laughs> ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be good. Go back to your hotels and prepare the room. Prepare the kitchen. And most important of all, prepare the tills.
great. Imagine walking all the way with so many people. There would never be a quiet moment. Everyone was pretty tired already from the walk. I bet some good arguments went on. I was some personal hygiene issues. My goodness. <coughs> Even with Mary and Joseph behind, I think I would have been a bit upset. Yes, Mary would have been especially tired. I'm so tired. When are we ever going to get there? Not long now. We should be there by tomorrow. Why did we have to do this? You know why. Couldn't you just have told someone so we didn't have to? Pregnant? I'm pregnant? I'm pregnant with a bun firmly in the oven. I tried, but they were adamant about it. Rules is rules, they said. Everyone had to go, regardless of their circumstances. Oh, I know. I'm just having a moment. I'm sorry, Joseph. I'm just tired, grumpy, and very uncomfortable. I'm starting to get pains, and this donkey isn't helping. I think this baby. I think this baby's going to be born soon. I hope we make it to Bethlehem tonight. So do I. So do I. <laughs> what was that you said? Nothing, sweetheart. I just said I wanted to get to that thing as soon as well. We've been out here in the fields for weeks now. We have been out here in the 
for four weeks. Yep, seeing nothing but bills. And cheap clouds. And cheap hexagons. The amazing sunsets. And more and more sheep. Sometimes I look for more for the cat. You may ask me, why do I say that? Just like a seen animal, which is not a sheep. Import. 
was an announcement to make. God sent it. Wait. We're going to announce it too. We're going to announce it. We're going to announce the birth of God sent Jesus, the savior of the world, to, to Raggedy Bunch of Tired Shepherds on a Hillside named Bethlehem. What? <laughs> oh no. Is this Gabriel's idea? No. Because the number one got himself. Oh, uh, oh well, I suppose he knows what he's doing. We better go sink a few shepherds then. Just when they thought all would be calm, and another sheep fell silent now.
before the storm. Well, there were smart men, so it wouldn't have been as easy as all that. Even they asked the most of himself that night. Seriously? Did anybody behave sensibly that night with a sense of decorum? Today we know what today we know what was happening, but at that time they wouldn't have had a clue what was going on that night. So true, they were just normal people getting on with their life. Just a second. This looks more like the Christmas play that I know. In the stillness of the stable, the Christ child was born. Join with us in quietly welcoming his baby by singing the first verse of Silent Night. Thank <laughs> you. 